India today reported 2,151 fresh cases of coronavirus in the last 24 hours, marking the highest single-day jump in the last five months, the health ministry showed today. Active COVID-19 cases in India have risen to 11,903, while the death toll has reached 5,30,848 after four more deaths were reported in the past 24 hours. The daily positivity rate is also at 1.51%. The Election Commission of India today said that by elections for vacant assembly seats in four states, Punjab, Odisha, Uttar Pradesh and Meghalaya will take place on May 10th. By polls have been announced for Jalandhar, Jharsugada in Odisha, Chanbe and Suwar in Uttar Pradesh and Soyong in Meghalaya. Results in these constituencies and in Karnataka will be declared on May 13th. Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar has said that the Election Commission of India is not in a hurry to hold the bypolls for Kerala's Wayanad Lok Sabha constituency after Congress leader Rahul Gandhi's disqualification. We've cleared vacancies till February. This vacancy was notified in March, Kumar said. Rahul Gandhi has 30 days to appeal against the court's verdict, he added. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal said that all the thieves, robbers and corrupt people are in one party in the BJP. The day Narendra Modi will not be the Prime Minister, India will become corruption-free, Kejriwal said. Since all the corrupt people are in one party, it will be easier to catch them, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal further stated. Heavy rainfall and hailstorm warning has been issued for several states and union territories. Heavy rainfall is likely over West Bengal, Sikkim and Odisha on March 31st. It's likely over Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya on March 31st and April 1st. Hailstorm is likely over Punjab, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, Sikkim and other northeastern states within the next two to four days. Myanmar's military-controlled election commission has dissolved the party of ousted leader Aung San Suu Kyi because it failed to register for a planned general election, state media reported. Suu Kyi's National League for Democracy, which has denounced the promised polls as a sham, was among the 40 parties that failed to meet the military's registration deadline on Tuesday. In sports, Indian football captain Sunil Shetri scored his 85th international goal to win the Tri-Nation International Football Tournament with a 2-0 win over Kyrgyz Republic. Sunil Shetri has overtaken Hungary's Ferenc Puskas as the fifth highest goal scorer in the history of football. Sunil Shetri is third on the list of active footballers with the most goals, behind only Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. 